All right, so I uh, right, first I want to apologize for the shaky camera because I'm trying to do it handheld and because uh, it's just the easiest way. Anyway, my name is Michael Tanell with uh, XBeamMC, and this video is to show you the well what XBMC does. I'm not going to be showing you how to set it up first or anything like that right now, but this is just a demo of what it does. So let's say uh, you're on a website that has a direct link to the video and you want to watch that video on your XBMC. Uh, so I have an XBMC set up on a Raspberry Pi, and so you're just going to right click and say open link with. XBMC and it's going to start look, working for it, trying to get it down and buffer and all that good stuff. This is Linux Unplugged, episode there we go. 14 for November 12th, Starts 2013. Playing. See what calls that. I'll stop it really. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the YouTube version of the same video. Which I happen to be on. I didn't mention that before. Only I'm about to be on the episode anyway. And you, I click open with, and then click XBMC again. XBMC. And it's going to go through the YouTube plugin. And it's going to start working, buffering, all the good stuff. Uh -huh. This there is you go. Starts playing. Episode 14 for November 12, 2013. Yeah. This is a cool feature, but uh, it'd be really cool also if you could do not only internet stuff but local stuff, and that is also possible. So here's the same episode uh, that I downloaded. We're gonna right-click, open with XBMC, and then. This there you is go. Linux Unplugged, episode 14 for November 12th, 2013. Now all I did was show you how to, uh, that it works with uh, direct links, YouTube videos, and local videos. But it also works with like 19 other websites. So, and I'm going to continuously add some more as well, because, you know, why not? Uh, but I don't have time to, you know, show you how to do one. I mean, show you a quick demo. But anyway, that's XBM, XBMMC, and uh, let me know what you think.